<laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and this is, this is my new home. But you're not getting a, a tour of the new home today. We're gonna do something really, really special. See that? That's Paul Cafaro. He went to Rota with me. Good friend of mine. He's got an awesome channel called Paul Cafaro. <laughs> this, this wild man right over here, this is Go Zach. On. Catch them with catch them all fishing. What's going on, me squad? <laughs> I ask people, so anytime I have people come around, I'm like, so who are your favorite channels? You get like a huge nod. Yes. Tons of my audience loves you. And he was just asking me, do you have any crawdads out on the ranch? I'm yeah. like, I don't know. But I do have one particular spot that we throw a lot of hog carcasses. Like anytime we kill a hog and process the hog, we just chunk it right there. So. I would think that's where they're at. Heck yeah. So I said, I'm gonna go buy a, a crawdad trap. He's like, no way, dude, I got a trap. Don't buy it if you already got it, baby. Come on, look at that thing. There's gonna be enough crawdads in here to fill all three of our bellies, including this one behind me, baby. <laughs> so who's this fella here? This is my cameraman, Timmy. A lot of people know him as the unicorn shark rider. This wild man says to me, you're the king of catch, and, you know, catch clean and cooks. What can we cook? I said, well, bro, bring up a fresh fish. I'm not lying, watch this. <laughs> this is what he brings to my house. It's fresh, all right. <laughs> Went to Publix and got you a little fresh sushi, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> in the sushi department? That was where it was. Open the gate, son! Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh. All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's go. So this spot right here is where we throw a lot of the animals. Like once we've killed a hog or deer or whatever, and we process it, we'll come and throw everything that gets discarded right here. You can see the alligators will literally come right up here, grab it, drag it down in the water. Sometimes you can't really see, but sometimes they take the, they take the carcasses right over there and eat them. Uh, you can actually see where the gators crawl up on the bank. Huge turtles, but I know if you've got turtles, you've got alligators, you've got fish, you're gonna have crawdads. So he's got the, hey, where's the trap at? I got the trap right here, baby. He's gonna do a catch, clean, and cook on that peacock bass. So instead of going all the way to camp, cleaning, and then coming back over here, I just stop. I'm gonna clean the fish on top of the cooler. We're gonna throw the carcass in that crawdad trap, and then we're gonna go to camp, and we're gonna cook his fish. Oh my gosh, it actually is where you throw all the hogs and stuff. Yeah. You can look, you can see, I mean, this is a perfect ambush point for the wild hogs. And what I think a lot of time happens, I think raccoons and different animals come down here and the gator just comes rushing up, grabs them, yanks them back in the water. Numerous times I see eight, 10 footers right here. Huge alligators. Straight up hog jaw right here. Should have hugged jaw right here. Oh, the teeth are falling out. So there you go. I just got done filleting that fish over on Catch 'em All's channel, and we're going to use this carcass because this is natural forage. This is what the the crawdads, the turtles, what everything would automatically be wanting to eat. So we caught a little eel the other day with Gabe. Yeah. You caught it, right, Jake? You there you go. And we're going to tie this shot. If we catch a baby eel, we're eating that too. <laughs> I've never seen an eel on my property. Absolutely. Well, we've never seen one in our creek until we caught it. Yeah. Do you think there's eels here? Yeah. yeah. If we catch an eel, I swear to you we're eating it. A little one, just the eel noodles. The cool thing about this, my brother Blue Gabe, he's doing a video. Zach's doing a video. Paul Cafaro's doing a video. We're all doing videos out here. <laughs> but it's the holidays, man. It's the holidays. We're having a good time. We're enjoying the ranch. We're enjoying this outdoor fresh air. And I think the trap's ready to go. Look at that. Look at that thing Bam. staring at you. What, what if a gator comes and just rips this trap in half? This is going to be underwater. It shouldn't have a problem, right? Yeah. It's not going to float up. Hold on, this I'm going to show you. Right over here. Look at that. That's where something grabbed a hog right there. Zach. Yeah. Right there is the spot that I think they would be. Okay. Right near that greenery, just a little farther off than the, of the, the bushes. Okay. So I have a lot of cord right now. Paul, you got it? Yep. All right, cool. Ready? Yep, One. go ahead. Oh my God, there's a huge bowfin right there. There's yeah, there is. There's a huge bowfin right here. 
There's a bowfin right there. We're not. This isn't a bowfin mudfish show. This is a we, crawdad show. We might catch him too. Okay, ready? I'm going to throw it in. One, two, three. Perfect. Nice. We definitely spooked him. See Hopefully how it sinks down to that deep hole right there? Yeah. Dude, that's money. 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 How much do you think we catch? I don't know, like hundreds. It depends how long we're waiting, like a couple hours? Yeah. We, as, as long as we catch look enough the, to Look at the bubbles some. coming up. Oh, yeah. See the bubbles coming up right there, Gil? Yeah. Depends, dude. I don't know. I, as long as we catch like enough to have at least to try them, you know? Yeah. That try crawfish on your property would be so sick. Hey, how many crawdads do you think we're going to catch? We're going to catch a bunch, because I throw traps back in my creek, and I catch a whole trap full. Yeah. Really? And that is a really big trap. I have a trap about this big and that. I don't know. Who's your dad? Blue Gabe. The shenanigans are going crazy here. We're having a really good time. We're gonna head back to camp now. I'm not sure what we're gonna get into. We're gonna have a good time. Oh, we're gonna be cooking the fish for his channel. And when we're done with all that, we'll come back here. So we will see you back here real soon. <laughs> we came here, we started a fire. We've been talking, having a good time. And uh, I was supposed to be cooking that peacock bass, but we decided, uh, let's just give it a little while. So it's been like, what, two or three hours? But before we go check the trap, I want to show you something. See how that fire, it's kind of smoldering. It's not doing much. Watch what happens whenever I put air to it. See this? That's just air. Like that, see that? Air. Watch how the air creates fire. Well, you got to keep going. Watch this. Doing nothing, just air. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? That is so Now, cool. once you've got all that wood, that's oak wood, once you have all that wood, it's really hot. It starts creating coals. That's gonna be the basis of our fire for the entire night. Zach, you ready to go check the trap? Ready to check the trap. What do you think we got? How many crawdads? I don't know, man. I would just want at least like two plate pulls. That'd be sick. We get like 10 of them just <laughs> it to says try two them. plate pulls. You know I saying? swear to you, <laughs> if, if we got two crawdads, I'll be happy. <laughs> dude, I'm optimistic, dude. We catch a lot of them. See you, Gabby. All right, let's see what we catch. Should I bring a net? Just this. Why you got a bucket for it? Bucket for the crawdads, baby! Come on, let's see what we catch, baby. You know, I've never had crawfish. We catch some mollies. Never had any. I don't know if y'all know this, but Paul Cafaro is one of the pickiest eaters in the of world. Of all time. Chicken nuggets <laughs> and mayonnaise only. It's a fact, I can't lie. <laughs> only fries. I love subs. Only Pizza, subs. subs and His sub, though, is so basic. It makes my mouth dry. <laughs> White bread, turkey, American cheese, and extra mayo. It's getting dark, <laughs> and I'm excited. My question is, I want to do like a blue crab and crawfish taste test. Like, what would be better, blue crabs or crawdads? My money is on blue crabs for sure. See that bubble, see the bubbles coming up? Oh look. So many fish here. Have you ever done a bow fishing video here? No. I didn't bring my bow, but I want to. I saw a tilapia. I saw that big old mud fish. Look at the bubbles. What is in there? It's I wouldn't be some... a gator, dude. I'm not messing around with that. Pull. pull it quick. So if he's in there, you got him. Pull, 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 pull. Pull it this way. Pull it. You got it, Jake? Uh oh. Lift hard. Lift up. Lift up. Oh, lift up. Lift up. Oh, watch out for the gators. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Pull it. Pull, pull, pull. See Oh! What is that? Oh my gosh! What is that? No, what you, it's the eels! What are you talking about? The eels! Dude. That is not! Yes, baby! I, that's not yes, an eel! Yes, baby! <laughs> Who has the trap? The that trap. is not an eel! Thank you! Thank you! Back to back! Back to back! That is okay. not an eel! There's two of them! Two There's two of them! them. There's two eels in there! There's crawfish probably under the... Check inside, check under the fish. There's probably more... Shut stuff. up! There's a bunch of minnows under... Open this thing up. How do we get there? There's no crawfish. The, top, top, where the, line the, the line's right here. I don't care. Ew, dude, dude we caught two that. eels. Two no, we're eating it for sure. Look at that. Look at Paulie, those what do you think? the trap. 
Dude, I have. That is disgusting. Look I'm it. definitely not eating that. Look at him, look at him crawling around the trap. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, have I'm gonna eat it. Look at him crawling around the trap, dude. Do they. I've never. Are, is it like a moray eel? What kind of eel is that? I've eaten these before. No. Yes. Yes! Forget crawfish. This is way cooler than that. A hundred times cooler. Look at that. Look at him crawling everywhere. Look at him. Oh, no. Dude, Jake, don't touch that thing. It's, all right, it can bite you. I just don't grab its tail. Look, he's trying to dig. Look, he's trying to dig, dude. No freaking way. I'm telling you, there's a billion. I bet we can catch more if you do the trap over. He's ruining that trick. You gotta leave it overnight. That is, all right. Oh my God. Oh my God, this thing doesn't like when you grab its head. He's trying to bite you. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Well, eel was never on my radar of what we're gonna catch. So. Drop a thumbs up if you think I should come back. Do you see all the fish? That's 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 probably eels, is what that is. Coming up, taking a breath. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do a lot of cool stuff. My mind is kind of ruined right now. I was thinking crab boil or crawfish boil. Now I've got to figure out what to do with an eel. So come on, you guys, let's go. I don't know what's wrong with these jokers. We're cracking jokes back here. All right, you guys, so we just made it back here to camp, and I want to let everyone know, I just made a bunch more of these. We've got large cutting boards and medium-sized cutting boards on the website at DeerMeatForDinner.com. I guarantee you, if you want one, press pause on this video and go buy it right now because they're going to sell out super, super fast. Um, and then come back and watch the rest of the video. That is our eel. Now, I didn't expect to catch an eel. So I have no idea what I'm doing. If I'm doing it wrong, please leave it in the comments below. There you go. I'm just gonna grab that. And I've already killed the eel, just so everyone doesn't think I'm savage. Yeah, that's how you do it. Just like my mama. There you go. It done. I'm honestly very impressed with how well that worked. I didn't expect it to happen that easy. Now I'm just using my thumb and I just clean that all out after I made the first initial cut. It's very important that you guys do this if you're trying to eat this eel. Otherwise, it will taste disgusting, swampy, gamey. You will not want to eat it. But if you clean it, clean it to the tea, especially when it's fresh and you just got rid of it, trust me, it's going to be good. He's gonna be surprised. You're gonna be surprised by it, Rob. I like the pieces a little longer, cause it's like, yeah, like that. Yes. And that tail's worthless. I was gonna do this fancy crawfish boil, but we didn't catch any crawfish. We caught these. So the only thing I have right now is some flour and some Everglades. So I'm just gonna throw them in there and season them up. I don't think I've ever seen you use that, Robert. That's Something sick. new to the program. <laughs> oh, it's sick. Almost looks like hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's, he gets to keep all that flour for the next yeah. batch. Of We've got some peacock bass to cook for my boy Zach. This is going to be my favorite, though. Forget the peacock. This is what I can't wait to eat. Check this out. In the grease you go. <laughs> that cooks like no time. Look at his face. Robert, look at me. <laughs> well, I, I had, like, normally so I'm mentally yeah. prepared for something. It's so this good. is so new to me. Smells good, Robert. It looks good. I've never had eel before, I'll tell you that for sure. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the warp zone with these guys out here. All right, let's flip this sucker. It smells amazing. Now it's starting to look good, huh? Yeah, for sure. I'm still not feeling it, fellas. It smells good. You guys think that looks good? Yes. It's going to be chewy, though. It almost looks like a turkey neck. Exactly. 
This is just a trip down, I don't know where I'm going lane. Fried them on up. And uh, I wasn't planning on this, so I don't know what to say. I will sprinkle just a little bit of Everglades on here. Everglades will make your mama's shoe taste good. I'm just saying. <laughs> Bombs away, boys. Okay. Uh, Watch out for the balloons. I told you it was really good. Tastes like fried chicken. Dude, it tastes exactly <laughs> no, like fried chicken. It's really good. You guys thought I was joking. Wow, <laughs> Robert's going in on that. It's great. It's really good. I thought I was joking. I love this. I purposely cooked it a little bit longer than I mm -hmm. thought I needed to, and it, that was winter, winter chicken. That dinner. was the way to go. Actually, winter, winter, I got an eel for dinner, but. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I cannot be more happy being behind this camera right You now. want some? No, but definitely. Come on. I'm fine. That Everglades seasoning is phenomenal. Wow. I've never had it with the Everglades, and it's so good. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Tim. Really good. Look how quiet Robert is. That's how you know it's good. He's not even making <laughs> yeah. a sound. No, in all honesty, <laughs> I'm thinking of ways that I can use this. Obviously, if we caught two that fast, there's freaking more of them there's there. A billion. There's probably a billion. I bet when we throw like a hog carcass over there, yeah, I oh. bet they just come in for yeah. the kill. You could, you could probably put a GoPro under there and see it. Like seriously, it's pretty clear water. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. <laughs> He's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, that was bomb. Dude, I'm telling you. This is my question. I'm not much of a collaborator, mm -hmm. but if you want to see me do more collaborations with this crazy man right here, <laughs> with his crazy cameramans, with my brother, with Paul Caparo, <laughs> or with any of your favorite YouTubers, this is what I want you to do. Leave a comment in the description below of a YouTuber that you would like to see me do a collaboration with. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking just in America, I'm talking worldwide, because 2020, we're traveling the world, man. We're gonna go all over the Philippines, Palau, Pompeii, Sinai. We gotta go back and, and defend at Saudi Arabia. Dude. Who knows where we're gonna go. What was that, second place? We were in second. We need first, bro. We need first, bring it back to the US. If you're not first, you're last. It's that. Hey, that's all I got for you guys, I love you. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, or whatever other holiday you have. Take care, God bless, and we gone. On.